friends, my name is Gabrielle, and welcome to Ruby's Reads. And yes, new background. Um, I have officially moved into my new apartment, and I will do a bookshelf tour if you guys are interested. I am currently trying to get the rest of my Harry Potter books from home, and I have all of them except for one through three, so that's gonna be my little Harry Potter shelf when I finally get it. Anyway, to the point, ignore my rambling. Not a lot of you guys know this yet, but I went to Mexico last week, and while I was there, I finally read the rest of the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. And I told my friend Vanessa from Paper Fairy, uh, when I did, I would take the Which Court Do You Belong To quiz. I actually enjoyed the series a lot more than I thought I would. I can do a full review of that soon if you guys are interested. But for now, I'm just gonna focus on this quiz. No, I have a certain, I have a certain like court that I would like to be in, but if I don't get into it, then it's not the worst thing ever. So anyway, uh, the first question is pick a personal motto. So take the bull by the horns, be as shrewd as a serpent and as innocent as a dove. Competition is the mother of success. The early bird catches the worm. The more that you read, the more things you will know. Live by your own rules or embrace the finer things in life. Mm hmm. That's a tricky one. I like the reading one because, you know, I like to read. But I think I'm going to go be shrewd as a serpent and as innocent as a dove. I think that's a good one. That's be a good motto. All right. How would you most like to spend a weekend? Okay. Uh, chilling in a mountain lodge, visiting an art gallery, and strolling around a stately home. Oh, no. No, that's already too long. Um, working my way through a pile of books I've been dying to read. That's a good one. Soaking up the sun on an island in the Mediterranean. That's another really good one. Running a marathon, the same as every weekend. Oh, uh, not a big runner here. By day, lux luxuriating at a sensuous spa. My god, I can't even say that one. By night, strutting it in an exclusive club. No, nope, I can't strut it, and it's better for the world that I don't. Uh, going for a walk each morning and then pottering around at home. That's a good one, too. I think, okay, it's either working my way through a pile of books or soaking up the sun on an island in the Mediterranean. Oh, ah, that's a tricky one. I think I'll do soaking up the sun. I like to read more at night because when the sun is up, I feel like I need to be outside and like doing things outside because it's daytime and then nighttime is much more for like being on the internet and reading and that kind of thing. So I think I'm going to go soaking up the sun on an island. All right. What's your favorite fairy tale? Rumpelstiltskin, Bluebeard. I don't know. What is Bluebeard? I've never heard of that before in my life. Snow White, Hansel and Gretel, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, Little Red Riding Hood, or Rapunzel. Um, I did love Goldilocks and the Three Bears a lot, but I think I'd have to say Hansel and Gretel. I think I like that one. What's your favorite kind of party? Christmas carousing. A very alliterative there. Sunset boat party. Cocktail evening with burlesque entertainment. And a picnic in a pasture. I'm not big on parties or refined masked ball. Uh, I'm not big on like party parties, but I do love bonfires. So I think I'm gonna do bonfire gathering because I love the beach. Uh, which one of these cute animals makes your heart melt? Fluffy feline, adorable dolphin calf, lovely little lamb, furry fox. Oh, that was cute. A huggable husky, darling deer fawn, frolicking full. Who came up with these names? My god. Okay, um, the fox is cute, but I like the cat the best. Uh, you have a massive crush on someone. What do you do? Avoid them like the plague. I blush like crazy so they'd know exactly how I felt, which would be like a disaster. No, um, because I don't, I, I'm very good at not being completely obvious with that. Um, assuming they meet my standards, I leave them a love letter. No. Engineer a way to spend time with them. Uh, make my feelings known and ask them out. Why the hell not? No. Uh, check how suitable a match we'd be before deciding what action to take. By my, be myself. I'm a total mistress of seduction and I always get who I want. Um, what's a crush? I mean, uh, engineer a way to spend time with them is a pretty good one. But I feel like, and I don't agree with this statement, but just be myself in general. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get into that. I'm a mistress of seduction and can always get what I want part. But just being yourself, I feel like is the best way to kind of interact with people in general. So that's just tends to be my go-to method anyway. What does your best friend love most about you? My trustworthiness, my joy de vivre, and generosity. I don't know what that means. Uh, to narrow it down, I'd say my loyalty, charm, and stunning good looks, <laughs> my radiant personality, my sharp wit, my intellect, uh, my sense of honor. Mmm, all of the above. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do that. To narrow it down, I'd say my loyalty, charm, and stunning good looks. Yes, that one. 
Which one of these are your least appealing attributes? Oh boy, all right. I'm pretty sure everything about me is appealing. Excellent, I already found my answer. Uh, sitting on the fence, I have a secret sly side. I can be pretty hot-headed and vulgar. I'm massively competitive and never compromise. Snobbery, I can be too serious. Um, I am all of these things. I have a secret sly side. I am very hot-headed and vulgar though too. I can be um, in the, if the mood strikes me, but I'm also massively competitive and never compromise. Ah, man, I'm pretty sure everything about me is appealing. That's my, <laughs> can I just choose that one? No, I think I'll go with the, I'm pretty hot-headed. Like, I can get very angry very fast. I'm like the Hulk, I'm always angry. What is your sweet treat of choice? I'm not a big sweet person. Um, strawberries and fresh cream, no. Spice apple pie, ugh, no. Odie cookies, nah. Honey-filled pancakes, definitely not. I'm not, I, I can't stand pancakes usually. Lemon tart with a dark chocolate base, that sounds good. Uh, rhubarb cake or black forest gatou, I can't pronounce half of those. I'll do, mm, yeah, lemon tart with dark chocolate because I love dark chocolate, so that's gonna be my treat of choice. I mean, okay, so pick an outdoor activity. Free climbing, hill walking, hang gliding, meadow meandering, snowboarding, skinny dipping in a sparkling lake, or deep sea diving. I think deep sea diving, but I also free climbing sounds really fun. I love the ocean, so deep sea diving is probably the best one. Which of the following would you most love to receive as a gift? Pretty gold pendant, no, I'm not a big gold fan. Uh, radiant rubies, no. Uh, precious pearl necklace, uh, not pearls. Bracelet of fire opals, that's kind of cool. Extravagant onyx choker, that's also a good one. Um, stylish sapphire earrings, mm, or dazzling diamond tiara. They really tried so hard with the alliteration here. That is such a strong feature in this quiz. I feel like the onyx choker is a good one. I do tend to wear a lot of necklaces, but bracelet of fire opals, fire opals are really cool. Oh, I don't know, fire or darkness. Both of those are twisted together inside. I don't know. I, I think I'd go with the choker. What is your favorite smell? Burning wood, freshly brewed coffee, gingerbread latte, the sea, Freshly cut grass, seductive jasmine, or sweet rose blossom. I can't stand like three quarters of these. I'll go gingerbread latte. All right, is this the last one? This is the last one, I think. Which botanical beauty most blows you away? Simple rose hips, those look like turnips. Um, striking sunflowers, probably the sunflowers. Gorgeous olive groves, no. Magnificent marigolds, no. Towering pine trees, no, that's kind of cool, but no. Bright buttercups or beautiful bluebells, uh, sunflowers. Oh, wait, oh, okay, this is 14. How would you describe your style? Crisp and cool, not really. Bright and bold, kind of. Comfy, I mean always, but. Uh, geek chick, no. High class timelessness. I dress to impress, I mean kind of. I tend to wear a lot of bold things, like this is pretty bold and I guess I'm this bold lipstick, so I guess I'll go bright and bold. Which of the following would be the top of your bucket list? Make sure I'm immortalized, no. Break a world record, maybe. Uh, observe the Northern Lights, that's definitely on my bucket list, actually. Um, visit all the world's wonders, that's also on my bucket list. See the sunrise on every continent, that's not, but that should be, because that's kind of awesome. Write a life-changing novel, that is also on my bucket list. Not necessarily life-changing, but just write a novel. Sail the seven seas, okay, all of these things are things I want to do, that's not fair. I guess visit all the world's wonders would be higher than observe the Northern Lights for me. Okay, oh, I'm in night court, hey, look at that. Out of this world attractive and utterly audacious, Night Court is your darkly decadent domain. Again with alliteration, my god. Admirers are drawn to you like moths to a flame, but rather than burning them with your vanity and arrogance, why not work on the nurturing part of your nature? Um, inside your self-serving super siren exterior, there's a deeply caring soul just dying to get out. I mean, I knew that already. Like, I'm not like a super, like a super superficial. That's, that's also the alliteration working on me now. I'm not a big, like superficial person. So I feel like, I don't know if, I don't like that that's a, a, an attribute. Yeah, apparently I am in the night court, but Nessa, you called it right because you said I would be. I actually thought I would be too, to be honest. But all right, so I can live with being in the night court. The night court is apparently the most beautiful of all the courts. And honestly, I do like the darkness a lot and stars and then galaxies and that kind of thing. So I feel like that would be a good fit for me personally. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys have taken this quiz and know what courts you're in, then go ahead and let me know because I'd love to hear what your guys' results were. If 
If you haven't seen the quiz, I'll go ahead and leave it in the description below so you guys can go ahead and take it too. If you guys haven't seen my last video, then make sure you stick around because it'll be popping up like right over here. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then you definitely should because I upload bookish videos twice a week as well as reaction videos or whatever something cool comes out that I want to react to. But for now, that's all I have for you guys today. So thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Okay.